Hello, PokeTubers. Uh, Ashmoto here with another Pokemon Showdown battle um, again tomorrow. Um, this is my team on the other side uh, with the Crawdont. Um, when you reverse record it, uh, it shows you it from the opponent's perspective. Um, using this new team, um, I like it a lot. Uh, I really, really like Chandelure. Um, Ghost Slash Fire is just such a good type typing um by sharp rock polish set um Confagrius defensive call minding um Carl Daunt, the same one i used in um nu i believe it was or are you i can't remember which series in and then i have the sableye he's just an awesome stall protect toxic taunt and uh recover and then i have my especially defensive bronzong with the levitate um, so basically this team is made to like counter everything like with the bronze dog can't touch me with fighting um, I mean earth quakes uh, chandelier you can't hit me with the fire moves and then like uh, basically you go off from there with Confagus being able to wall anything physical because he is max defense and then his calm minding and then he's like the perfect wall so enough of me babbling let's just get on to the battle uh, he leads with his crowbat as I lead with my Sableye um, I go for the Toxic, being dumb, thinking that, uh, he will switch out, but he doesn't. So I'm forced to switch out into my Bisharp, and he's going to Toxic me. Um, I'm immune to that because I am part, uh, Steel. Uh, he's going, for, he's going to go for the Brave Bird, and I'm going to go for the Iron Head. I probably should have Rock Polished up right there, so I can outspeed. But I went for Iron Head anyway, thinking I could KO, because Crobats are usually fragile. He's going to go into his Darmanitan, I'm going to Rock Polish now. Um, knowing I can outspeed this thing, I'm going to go for the Night Slash, thinking I can one-shot it, but I can't. And he's going to go for the U-Turn. Um, and then he's going to go into his, uh, Scrafty. And I'm going to switch out as well into my Chandelure. He's going to bulk up. I'm going to go for the Fire Blast and thankfully not miss. Um, but it does take him only down to 3%. Thinking that I can KO him or he'll set up another bulk up or thinking I can take a hit, rather. But I don't. He kills me with the crunch, which is unfortunate. I hate to lose my chandelier so early in the game. So I go into my bronzong, um, knowing I can wall anything he wants to go for. Just go for the gyro ball, easy KO. And now it's all tied up at 5-5. Five, five. He's going to send out his Darmanitan now, not wanting to take a flare blitz to the face. I go into my Confagrius. And he actually goes for the U-turn, predicting my switch probably. And uh, he's going to go into his Crobat now. I forget what happens here. Um, he goes for the taunt. Oh, right. He goes for the taunt. I go for the shadow ball. Um, so good thing I didn't go for the calm mind right there. But I just wanted this crowbat dead at this point. So that's why I went for the shadow ball instead of trying to set up. And I'm going to go into my card as he poisons me, which is fine because I'm a physical set, not special, especially based. Um, I'm just going to go straight for the waterfall here because, like I said, I want this crowbat gone. I didn't bother setting up a sub or a D-Dance or anything like that. I'm toxic, so I'm probably going to die anyway. That was my thought process. And he's going to go into his Kingdra. Um, I don't know what this thing wants to do. I don't know if it's special or physical, so I'm just going to go into my Compagrius. He sets up a sub, which is fine with me. Uh, he starts D-Dancing. I start Calm Minding, so I'm just going to speed this part up. It's just me D-Dancing, him Calm Minding. Me Calm Minding, he, him D-Dancing, um, which is tedious, so yeah. He's going to get up to um, plus four, I think. And I'm going to get up to plus three, if I remember correctly. So, yeah. Just back and forth, back and forth. I probably should have went for a Shadow Ball to break this up earlier. But um, this is where I go for the Shadow Ball now. And the sub's going to go away. He's obviously faster than me, so he's going to go for the Outrage now. That's going to KO me, even with max defense. But, I mean, he's at plus four, so what do you expect? Um, I'm going to go into my bronze song thinking I could take the hit, but no. But he's life orb, so we can try to life orb, stall him out, or get him to get into confusion. And boom, he's in confusion now, so I'm going to go into my Sableye and uh, try to poison him, but I miss. But that's okay because he hits himself in confusion and loses 55% of his health, which is insane. Um, so I'm just going to talk to this Darmanitan. I'm going to go for the Flare Blitz, take me out, take himself out. So now it is two on th two. So let's see who's going to win this. I'm going to send out my Bar Sharp. He's going to go into his Fabio, his Snorlax. I'm going to go straight for that Brick Break. Um, it doesn't KO him because 
By Sharp is not stabbed with the fighting, which is unfortunate because he could take me out to double edge, do some damage to himself, heal some stuff with leftovers. I'm gonna go into my crawl daunt, knowing I can take him out with the waterfall. And now he's got his alligator, his crocodile. Um, I know I can outspeed this thing, so I'm just gonna go straight for that waterfall. But no, he's shiny, so he's able to take me out. So GG, Morrow. And thanks for watching, guys. See you later.